Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com on how to customize uh, the user registration page in a .NET website. And by customizing, I mean adding more text to the page, adding, let's say, a banner, adding uh, some other components, some other modules to the page. I'm not talking about customizing the, the fields of the registration. I'm talking about how to customize the page itself, how to add more modules, how to change things in the user registration page. So here's a, is a test site, a demo site. Uh, and this is the a default user registration page of uh, .NET Nook. So if I go to the home, if I click register, this is the page that comes up. Now, let's say that I want to, to add some text or some, some uh, I don't know, images uh, to this page. How can we go about doing that? So, first of all, let's log into the site as, as host. So, let's click login. And then, you can, you can do that via admin or host. I'm just going to log in as host. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll create a page that will be my new registration page. So I'll call this new registration. And it will be uh, accessible to all users. And I will not include it in the menu. I don't need it to be included in the menu. So let's click update. So here's my, my new page. And I have to add to this page a module called users and roles and so let's have a look so so this module user and roles it's not added to a drop down list of modules in my website so let's have a look let's go under host let's have a look at module definitions and let's scroll down so users and roles is added to the site but for some reason it's not showing in the drop down list of modules up here in the control panel. So let's have a look at the users and roles module by clicking the icon that says edit this extension. If I scroll down, you will notice that it seems to me that by default, uh, DNN is now bringing this module as unassigned to, to, to the new website. So what we have to do is we have to assign this module to this website. So we have to move from unassigned and this is the portal. And I'm going to move the portal to the assigned uh, list. I'm going to click update module. Perfect. So now this module should be visible via uh, the module list. Let's go back to our page that we have just created, our new registration page. So let's go up here in the module drop down. And users and roles is added to the top to the, to the list of modules now. So click on users and roles. What I'll be doing is I'll be adding to this module to the content pane. Now, when you add this module to a page, it adds it actually adds three modules: security roles, user accounts, and add new user. So now, in our case, we don't need security role so I'm going to delete this module and I also don't need user accounts here so I'm gonna delete this one as well so I'm just gonna keep here add new user so basically this is our new page and just for the sake of example I'm just gonna enter some text here at the top and this is some new Text. Just gonna save this. Okay, so we have some text here just to to prove that we are creating our own new registration page. Now, just again, just to to demonstrate what I'm talking about, the new the new pages the registration page is created. If I log out, and if I click the register, it's still coming the old one. And the reason is very simple because we have created the new page, but we have not hold uh, DNN yet that this is a new registration page. So let's log back in. I'm going to go in again as host. So 
the place that we're gonna specify our new uh, restriction page is under admin site settings. If we scroll down under advanced settings, there is a, a an option that says registration page, and it's set to none specified, which which uh, again will make the will bring the default registration page. Now I'm going to select new registration page. Now very important, only select a page here that has the add new user module added to it. If by any chance you select a page that do not have that module added, when someone tries to register and click on the registration link, they will not see the registration uh, module there at all. So again, new registration page is selected. Let's just scroll down, click update. And now let's give it a try. Let's log out. And if I go to the home page, if I click register, now as you can see, this is our new registration page. And to prove that, this is the text that I have set on top of uh, above the user registration. So again, this is a new registration page that we have created. And that's basically it. So basically, uh, this video has just covered how you can go about creating a new page uh, to be used as a new registration page. So you can add more mods to that page, you can add more content, you can add banners, you can add whatever content in addition to the user registration you want to that page. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.